Oh, this is the girl. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Yep. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? This is not going to be very fun. We're going to have a look around. Okay. He'll be back in. Don't know. Oh, jewelry. Yeah. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. My partner will explain everything when it is back, okay? Don't worry about it. No sign of a wedding ring. Yeah, good job. Oh. Size eight. Like how it conveniently Size says eight. it right on the bottom there. I, like, I don't think shoes have ever put the size right there on the bottom. At least it's not very common. Um, now I do remember one aspect of this case was that there was a clue outside um, near this boat that they had, I think. Mm, nothing here. No? Okay. Anything in here? Move. Let's look outside. No, I've just left the left the scene. Maybe I'm thinking of a different case. Where they have a boat outside and there's a clue next to it. I was fairly certain that that was this case though. Guess I'm wrong. That's not a newspaper that I can interact with. Really? That's so weird. I could have sworn that it was this case. Okay, let's go talk. I'm stumped. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? We could try. She stopped crying pretty fucking quickly. <sighs> Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? I'm sure it's just bad game design. A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Uh, mm. What missing watch? I. Oh, what? She's reluctant to talk about her jewelry. It's a touchy subject with Daddy. He thought she wasted too much money on her appearance. But she was lying. But what was I gonna? What was I gonna use the missing ring and watch thing with her? That doesn't make any sense. What? Mother spent all her time fussing over herself. There wasn't much time left for me and Daddy. What, well, so she's telling the tr- What the fuck is it with this game? So she's telling the truth. I doubt her I'm wrong. I say she's lying and I choose the missing jewelry. I'm wrong. So she must be telling the truth. What, what other possible option is there? I never paid much attention to that stuff. 
I'm just going to have a look, another look at the evidence first. Missing watch, no pattern. There's no way. I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring. Amy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. She, she answered the question and then she kind of looked away, like to the side. Like it, it seemed like she was lying. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Mm -hmm. No, she's definitely lying now. Rings. Wait, she, now she's looking right at me. No, oh, oh, wait. What? I'm getting mixed signals. Like, half the time she's doing that right now, like, looking away, like she's lying. Ugh. Oh, I have no intuition points. God damn it. Oh, oh, fuck. I don't... This is pissing me off. It's just 50-50. Either I doubt her or I... Her dad picked her up. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. Oh, shit. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. Oh, thank what God. happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Just get an Uber. God. <laughs> your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. No, she's definitely lying now. I have no problem about that. Yeah, da, 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 da. Um, size 8. Yeah, that's totally the reason for their shitty marriage. Uh, they weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What gives? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's Your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. The music came out pretty quickly. <laughs> what size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. <laughs> Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? You tell me. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. He has experience. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Uh... And you didn't report that she was missing till this morning? That's very unusual, Mr. Muller. Not to mention suspicious. Look, I, I was annoyed with her. That's why I was waiting for her to come home. Why, you telling me something different? 
I'm. Oh, I need to hear it again. I need to hear what he said again. You don't ask, you never find out. That's it? There's got to be more. Actually, I can just ask again, can't I? You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Uh, and you didn't report that she was missing till this morning? That's very unusual, Mr. Muller. Not to mention suspicious. Look, I, I was annoyed with her. That's why I was waiting for her to come home. Why, you telling me something different? I, I kind of want to... I kind of want to use this. I, I'm not sure if it'll work, but it seems kind of interesting. In fact, it probably won't work. But what the hell? You better think about leaving, or you're gonna have some trouble on your hands. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter. Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? <laughs> well, now I can use it. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Don't know why that came up after that, that answer. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it! It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair, it drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage! I didn't kill my wife! Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. Or maybe he just brought the boat home now. We should go back in there and bust his ass! One, we need to break his alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Detective! Fuck you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. No. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Yeah, was that sewage? <laughs> Are we gonna find rope in here? This doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. 
Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... It's home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Well, there you have it. It was the father. Oh, wait, no, I'm on the wrong side. Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do Galloway, this. Galloway, Homicide Division, badge number 564. Go ahead, detective unit. Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? Or I guess he could just Send do it in the car? Send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, 11K. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has a report waiting. Please morgue downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. Right. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? Uh, oh, I kind of want to go to the school first. Oh. No, no, let's go to the morgue. Huh. Latest thing. KTI Radio. I'm Remind surprised, you. you know. Make I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the big who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. You try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, uh, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away that one. 